Mining was a normal job before the gold rush in Western expansion. People mined mainly for coal and were located all over the country before the gold rush. The Chinese Exclusion Act limits the amount of people who are mining since the largest group of miners were Chinese, about half the population is gone. And the General Mining Act of 1872 gives miners more permission to mine on public lands, giving them more legal control over what they're doing. During westward migration, it could take up to nine months to cross the country by foot or covered by wagon. They also had to worry about bandits robbing them on their journey in the weather, which could be extremely dangerous traveling through mountains and forests. James Graham Fair was a man who later became a U.S. Senator and was a silver king from the Comstock load. He was the superintendent of the Ophir mine, but after two years, the Hale and, and Acro Norcross mine, he was later fired that year for unknown reasons, but met up with a man named, known as John McKay. McKay hired Fair as the superintendent of Rising Star Mine in Idaho, and they both worked together secretly with investigators, investors James Flood and William O'Brien to take over the Hale and Norcross mine. Fair turned the mine into a profit, and then they bought up all the other mines, including the Big Bonanza, which is one of the biggest ore mines in U.S. history. Miners worked from sunup to sundown. They were tired, ate terrible food, danger was everywhere. They struck very little gold, and for what money, little money they did make, they would likely spend it on useless commodities like alcohol. The short-term effects temporary jobs, boom towns, and then like sickness and disease. The long-term effects were destruction of land, pushing natives off their land, possible loss of limbs, other types of sickness, and then moving people into bigger cities and expanding more west. Miners moving west or coming from Asia in an attempt to strike it rich with gold caused a few changes in America, economically opened up jobs, built towns, cities across the west, and increased the total amount of money the U.S. had. The mining of silver in addition to gold was very important. It led to the fighting over the gold standard versus bimetallism, which ultimately caused the U.S. to reform its monetary system to something like today's. Politically, it didn't change much except for the aforementioned Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, which opened up America to the possibility of alienating an entire group of people or places. Socially, it was a neutral to bad thing. The gold-silver rush made the West a melting pot for multiple groups, including whites, Chinese, exodusters.